Hello YouTube, this is an alcohol review of Grind Espresso Shot. Dun, dun, dun. According to the label, made with Arabica, coffee beans, finely crafted, from bean rich espresso taste to bar with Caribbean rum, calibration with baristas and bartenders. Caribbean rum blended with coffee extract, espresso coffee, and other natural flavors and caramel color. Caramel color. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. 3% alcohol by volume. So that's 60 proof. Uh, according to the back, we love espresso and we love good love a good cocktail. So why not espresso spirit? We gathered our baristas and bartender friends together to taste different coffee blends and spirits until we found a liquid we love. Medium roasted Colombian Arabica beans carefully blended with smooth Caribbean rum for a finely balanced espresso spirit. They can be mixed with almost anything. We hope you like it as much as we do. I think it was uh, three different kinds of uh, cocktails to put it in. Interesting. Now, normally, I should say the last several of these that I've had, coffee liqueurs, is a blend of coffee and vodka. So when I saw coffee and rum, I had to give it a try. So, I'm going to look at it. I'm surprised that they added anything to it. It is so dark. And according to the light that I'm seeing here, it is a red hue. Red chocolate, I guess you could call it. It is very thick on the sides of the glass. <laughs> wow, that was a snot full of alcohol. If you've ever had one. Holy cow. All right. Gonna give that some air time before we try that one again. My oh my oh my. First thing that came up was nothing but the alcohol hit. And then it comes with the coffee and like a chocolate, but ooh, right up the nose of the alcohol. Still lots of alcohol, but it smells like espresso coffee. which means it's like coffee with hints of chocolate smell, chocolate odor to it. I'm just wondering why they needed the extra caramel coloring. It's so dark. If you like coffee, this will smell delicious. Now, Dizzy 3 and there's another one out there that I tried. Uh, didn't have as much of a alcohol odor to it, but also had an equally delightful smell. So like I said, if you like coffee, this will smell fantastic. Oh, that is yummy. I had a little bit of this last night just to give it a try out of curiosity. Don't think I let it sit long enough. It was a little bit bitey, a little bit burny in the beginning. But <coughs> letting it sit a little bit it's not bad. All right. So, it has an alcohol uh, burn to it that's mm, a little sharp, but not quite biting. It is sharp, though. Keep that in mind. You get a wonderful coffee to it. I like the vodka ones. This coffee with the rum, gives, the rum gives it a sweetness that the coffee needs. The fact that this is two separate kinds of coffee, what was it, uh, medium roasted, and, uh, what was the espresso part? Da, da, da. Well, anyways, it's two separate kinds, espresso extract and the uh, medium coffee. So obviously the medium coffee takes the edge off the espresso part, but that rum gives it a sweet. So 
that's delicious. Now, if you like a light roast, now you're a coffee fan, but you like a nice light roast, a nice medium roast, this might be too much for you. If you like chocolate, this will be something you might find intriguing. Because chocolate and coffee are uh, pretty much in the same family of flavors. Though cocoa and coffee beans are not. Uh, you will find that this is a really good, especially if you like dark chocolates. Now, I would say this would be great on ice. A, you'll probably take that extra that rum bite out of the picture, as well as make it on the nice cool side. Because it is so thick, it has a heavy mouthfeel. And right now, at the taping of this particular video, it is horribly hot. And that I mean by, we're well in the hundreds right now. And this is a little too heavy for that. Uh, I myself would prefer something a, light, a lot more light bodied. So this is probably a great, absolutely great uh, spirit for late at night watching the snowfall. I think it's even a little too dense for early fall and uh, late spring. I would have to say this would be late fall, early spring while it's still cold, when there's at least some ice somewhere and it's not in your freezer. This would be a good one to sip. So there you go. This is a review of Grind Espresso Shot. In the comments, by the your product down below, please be very nice. Or better yet, go out, buy it, try it yourself, uh, see what you think, and make a review. Tell the rest of us on YouTube can your thoughts of Grind Espresso Shot. And until next time, keep on drinking.